Welcome back to The Daily Hustle. We're talking about the second part of the series titled, How to Make All the Sales You Want Online. Yesterday, we talked about how people need to know, like, and trust you in order for you to make sales. Uh, people won't buy from people they don't know, like, or trust. Today, we're gonna to talk about how do you build that know, like, and trust factor, or how you can borrow the know, like, and trust factor from other people. Now, here's a really good way to do it. First of all, let's talk about implied endorsement. Uh, in an implied endorsement, you have somebody else saying great things about you. It might be a testimonial. It might be a testimonial from customers, people that already bought from you, and now they're endorsing what you do. And so you've got these people who have already gone through the process that you're asking complete strangers to go through, and they're saying, yeah, it worked out great, everything was great. The more of those testimonials, and by the way, make them real, don't fake them, but the more of those real testimonials that you have on your page, the more likely it is that you're gonna do well. You're gonna build the know, like, and trust factor by having that type of implied endorsement. Another type of implied endorsement is if an entity like a company or an organization that your future customers know, like, and trust, in other words, the people you're trying to reach, they already know, like, and trust this organization. And if they recommend you, that's a real good implied endorsement. So now what you're doing is you're borrowing the know, like, and trust factor from that entity that these people already know, like, and trust them. And now they're saying, hey, you should go try Dave's product or you should go try, you know, so-and-so's product, your product. That's when you can borrow the know, like, and trust factor. And that's great. In my opinion, the absolute best way to build know, like, and trust factor is something similar to what I'm doing here with these videos. And one of the reasons that I decided to do the Daily Hustle video series is because I wanna build a big, gigantic audience online of people who know who I am, first of all, and let's talk about each of these in, in, in individual order, okay? People who know who I am, that's key. First, how much do they know who I am? Well, if I'm doing daily videos, they're gonna get a really good sense of what kind of person I am, right? They're gonna get a really good understanding of, okay, is Dave you know, honest? Is he ethical? Is he a hard worker? Does he put my needs first? Does he put my interests first? You know, that kind of thing. They're gonna understand that really, really clearly by watching the daily videos, right? So the no part is really important and they'll get to know me and feel like, wow, you know, I, I understand this guy. I get where he's coming from. The like part, I can't control, okay? <laughs> to some people, I'm, I'm probably, you know, they don't like me and to other people they do. But the great thing about that is by doing these daily videos, people themselves, the audience gets to self-select. They either get to raise their hand and say, you know what, I'm in, I like this Dave guy and I'm gonna follow him by you know, clicking the subscribe button. I'm gonna subscribe and I'm gonna listen and I'm gonna see what he's all about. I like this message that I saw today, first message, right? The first message they saw. And I wanna hear some more. He sounds like a good guy, right? Or the person goes, Oh man, I don't like the way this guy talks. He sounds like an infomercial guy or he sounds salesy or whatever it is they may say. I don't know what they may say. And they're like, they tune out. They don't subscribe. They don't come back. That's okay. Because what I'm doing in this video series is I'm having my audience self-select saying, yes, I want to listen more to Dave. I want to subscribe. I like what he's doing. That's my audience. It's self-selecting, meaning they're deciding, yes, I want to follow Dave. The people that don't decide to follow me, that's not my audience. They have self-selected themselves out of my audience. I love that. It's a filtering process that automatically happens, right? But as this goes on every day, as I'm building these Daily Hustle videos, every day, a bigger and bigger audience is going to grow. And over time, you're going to see more and more views to my videos, more and my, more subscribers, more and more overall views to my channel. And guess what comes from that? The trust factor. Over time, putting out good quality content. And I don't care if it's on YouTube, you could put it on a blog, you could put it on uh, Pinterest, you could put it on Facebook, it doesn't matter where you put that content. But what you're doing is you're methodically, systematically building an audience of people 
that is growing, that knows you, knows who you are, knows what you're all about. They like you, so they self-select and say, yeah, I want to be part of this audience. And over time, they trust you because you're showing who you really are and those people trust you. Now, my goal is to build an audience in the hundreds of thousands of subscribers, right? And you're going to see how it happens through this YouTube channel and everything else I'm doing. But already, listen to this, already in the first month and a few days into February of 2017, I'm seeing very positive results from just the beginning of doing a daily video series. I'm seeing really exciting results financially, sales-wise, sales of my own courses and sales of other people's courses as an affiliate. Why? Because I committed to do a daily video series and building the know, like, and trust factor in my audience. So now when I recommend a product, whether it's mine or somebody else's, people listen, they take it seriously, and they understand who this message is coming from. They know they can trust me. They know I have integrity. They know I'll answer their questions when they type them into YouTube or when they email me a question or when they're in an online course that I teach and they ask a question. They know that I'll be there for them. They know that I'm not fly by night. They know that I'm not going to take the money and run. They know that I'm here for the long haul. And you cannot put a price tag on that. Building an audience with integrity, building it right, and building it big is your key to making all the sales you want to make online. Let me give you some other examples. I've seen some really amazing success stories build over the years, and all of them did something similar to what I'm talking about doing right now. It took me until about 2017, really about the end of 2016, to for the light bulb to go off in my head and go, you know what? It's all about building an audience bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger of people that self-select. They, they know you, they like you, and they trust you. It's all about that. Prior to this, I came from a transactional way of thinking. Transactional meaning I'm going to put some ads out there or I'm going to put some reviews out there. I'm going to put some content out there and hope people buy. It was a very much a one-to-one -one transactional relationship. I'm going to, I'm going to do X amount of effort. I'm going to make X number of sales, but there was no relationship in it or very little relationship. You know, I have a, a pretty good sized email list of people that I can email out to and I can send them offers and I can make money that way, but there was very little relational aspect to it. I feel like at the end of 2016, I came to a realization, the light bulb went off that I should start to build relationship with my audience and in that process build an entirely new audience of people who actually got to know me. Now, by the way, that was not easy for me to do because I'm an introvert and I don't, I don't really like putting myself out there, but I knew that if I wanted to be big and if I wanted to really grow to a huge level, that's what I had to do. Do you have things in your life that maybe are stopping you? Things that you know you should do, but for whatever reason, whether it's fear or inadequacy or wondering if it's going to work, not having the faith to do it, whatever reason you're just, you're not doing it. Sometimes we got to face that fear and we got to face the, re the truth and the reality. And that is what I'm telling you today is in order to really be big, I'm talking huge you've got to build your own audience. And does it take time? Yes. But guess what? If you do it right, it will not take as long as you think it's going to take. And if you do it right, you'll start with a few subscribers or a few people following you. And it'll look kind of dismal at first, like, oh man, how is this ever going to work? But over time, if you put yourself out there and keep working at it, you're going to build it and build it and build it really big. Anyone and everyone that I've seen that is huge and selling a ton of product, they didn't start out by saying, I want to sell a ton of product and went to work trying to sell a ton of product. What they did was they focused on their audience, giving their audience what their audience needs, asking them what they need and giving them that 
oftentimes free, right? A lot of free content, whether it's blogging, YouTube, Facebook groups, whatever, giving, 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 giving tons of free content. When they decide, hey, I'm going to make an offer, suddenly they have so many sales, you know, that it's, it's crazy. Why do they have so many sales? Because they did the hard work of building the know, like, and trust and building that with many, many people. So the key to making all the sales you want to make online is he who builds the biggest audience wins. He or she who builds the biggest following wins. Everything else will come from building the biggest audience that you can build. And by the way, that's totally relative to whatever niche you're in, whatever product niche you're in, whatever service you're in. It's totally relative, right? In some cases, you might just need a few hundred followers uh, if you're selling high-end products, right? In other cases, you might want to have hundreds of thousands of followers or tens of thousands of followers if you're selling lower-end products. So it's totally relative to what your particular business is. Don't get caught up in, oh, I need to have a million subscribers or I need to have hundreds of thousands. No, that's not, that's not what you need. You just need enough people to keep yourself going and build yourself to a bigger level. Hope you enjoyed this Daily Hustle series. I really wanted to bring it to you and really wanted to bring it to you full force so that you get it uh, because it took me a long time to get it and for the light bulb to go off and go, you know what? I don't care about my fears. I don't care about whether I'm going to come off sounding weird or, or dorky or nerdy or whatever it is. I'm going to go out and put this content out there and I'm going to have my audience decide, yeah, I'm following Dave. Yeah, I'm subscribing to this guy because he's telling me the truth. He's helping me out and he's going to be a mentor to me for years and years to come. I hope I'm that for you. If I am, I'm so grateful that I get to be your mentor and I'm so grateful that I get to help you on this road to success. We can do it together. You know, I've got your back and hopefully over time you'll have my back as well. And I hope you're enjoying these daily hustle videos. If you are, be sure to subscribe, click that subscribe button below and follow me on this amazing journey. It's going to be a blast. It's going to be so awesome. And you can be right there along with me learning, doing, and making it happen. I'll see you tomorrow on the Daily Hustle.